One of the most restlessly anticipated cosmic events is the grandiose blast of Betelgeuse in the outstanding shoulder of Orion. Betelgeuse is a red very Goliath star that is drawing closer to an astounding completion. Betelgeuse is one of the night sky's most splendid stars. However, it's oddly begun to wane in the last choice piece of 2019. I could attempt and see the obscuring with UND since it was so clear from now onward, indefinitely seemingly forever. The star's splendor decreased, and observers tended to whether Betelgeuse had shown up toward the completion of its life following several months. Anyway, the Red Beast star's wonder returned to business as usual. Stargazers were astonished to see the justification behind the exceptional obscuring when they concentrated on it with the most powerful telescopes. The star is practically exploding as it draws near to the completion of its existence. When and why is an inestimable blast expected to occur? And will this situation be unfortunate for Earth? We ought to sort out the mind-blowing ruby-red shining star known as Betelgeuse. Betelgeuse is arranged in the upper right shoulder of the colder season gathering of stars, or the hunter. It is generally called Alpha Orionis, the second most astonishing star in the heavenly body after the blue very beast. Genuine Betelgeuse is a beguiling article for star studies and observations due to its variable nature as well as its odd name. Generally, stars with the name Alpha are the most splendid in their star groupings. Regardless of the way that genuine Orion, another stunning star, is more splendid, Betelgeuse is Alpha Orionis on account of its name, wonder, size, and reddish shade. It is, like, insightful maybe the most striking star. Betelgeuse is the seventh most awe-inspiring star that ought to be noticeable from by far most of North America, Europe, and Canada, and it is the tenth most wonderful star. Commonly above the armpit of the beast is a commonplace understanding for the Arabic articulation that filled in as the justification for the name. Frightening Crowley press ordinarily that a Goliath suggests Orion, though that is what various analysts trust. Frightening Crowley, as opposed to an armpit, depicts a hand or perhaps a shoulder. In spite of the way that Betelgeuse is depicted as Orion's right shoulder on various old star frames, its careful significance is dark. Given that Orion is generally associated with a Goliath, a hero, a hunter, a heavenly being, or another human or animal include out-of-date fables. It is scarcely surprising that most portrayals of Betelgeuse have a physical connection. Amazingly, space specialists are unsuitable to pinpoint Betelgeuse's exact separation from Earth, disregarding the way that they trust it to be among 430 and 724 light years away. Betelgeuse is the most marvelous red very Goliath star and is closest to Earth in our framework. Just 200 red very Goliath stars have been perceived. Betelgeuse is 16 and one-half times as immense as the sun. The super beast has 126,000 sunlight-based radiances and is observable from 548 light-years away. This star has a surface temperature of 3,600 Kelvin, making it cooler than the sun. Just around 13.3% of Betelgeuse's splendor energy is evident light. If regular eyes could see light by any means frequencies, Betelgeuse would outperform Sirius as the most unbelievable star in our night sky. The sun has a range that is near multiple times greater than Betelgeuse. If the star replaced our sun in the sun-situated system, it would show up at past the space rock belt and, surprisingly, beyond Jupiter. This suggests that Earth, Mars, Venus, Mercury, and also Venus would all be completely absorbed. Betelgeuse loses around one solar mass as expected. A cloud encompasses the red star since this material is being shot out unevenly from the star in all directions. A dimness of material on different occasions greater than this star encompasses Betelgeuse, and the size of this cloud is also made sure to be 30 infinite units, or on numerous occasions the sooner distance. The Sun and Neptune, the farthest planet in the Sun-controlled system, are secluded by this distance. Betelgeuse is evaluated to be someplace in the range of 9 and 10 million years of age which is a somewhat young age. It is believed that super Goliaths or red Goliath stars are moving toward the completion of their existence. When a star is imagined, it is made of hydrogen, which merges in the star's center under the force of gravity to make helium in a nuclear shoot. A package of power and light energy is ordinarily conveyed during the combination cycle. This energy goes to the star's surface and is conveyed as a photon into space. As the star ages, its fundamental fuel, hydrogen, runs out, 
and helium starts to get together with carbon to approach carbon. Later, the helium is spent, and neon will finally merge with carbon to outline magnesium. When this happens, the blend of neon with magnesium holds energy, as opposed to conveying it, since there is nothing to conflict. With the star's intense areas of strength. For unusually right when magnesium starts to entwine, the star collapses in on itself, prompting an inestimable blast. An inestimable blast, one of nature's most noteworthy forces, can make more energy than 10 billion suns. Stars shift tone during the course of their reality, from the most energetic, most smoking blue designs to the more laid-out, cooler red combinations, depending on what period of their superb development they have shown up at. The Greek specialist Timmy 921268 development curiously alluded to Betelgeuse as having a bronze variety. Yet three many years sooner, Chinese cosmologists had depicted the star as having a yellow appearance, maybe surmising that Betelgeuse was previously a yellow super beast. Larger stars frequently consume through their hydrogen quicker and dismiss the container from sooner. Despite being just around 10 million years old, Betelgeuse is unquestionably moving toward the completion of its future. Our sun, on the other hand, is as yet thriving at around 5 billion years old. Other than considering the truth that Betelgeuse is drawing closer the completion of its life, an inestimable blast could occur in a little while. Anyway, it's exceptionally dubious when Betelgeuse's enormous blast will happen. Betelgeuse goes through to obscuring and illuminating cycles. The second occurs generally predictably and perseveres around 100 days. The star's outside shell is made sure to develop and contract during this cycle, changing the star's frame and the ordinary temperature as per each step of the cycle. The clashing obscuring of Betelgeuse in 2019 and 2020, followed by a short recovery to its regular thing brightness, drew a lot of thought. According to space specialists, it might illustrate that the star will pass on. Betelgeuse has been the point of convergence of Sirius survey beginning from the primary 100 years B. In all actuality, do see. However, for what reason did it knee out of the blue and against its standard cycle? Betelgeuse was taken out from its home in the Orion OB-1 alliance, which contains the stars in Orion's belt and has been seen traveling through the interstellar medium at a speed of 30 kilometers per second, more than four light years wide. A bow shock is being conveyed by the speeding star. It is challenging to evaluate the distances to red very Goliath stars like Betelgeuse. In stargazing, it has exhibited testing to pinpoint Betelgeuse's visible expansiveness for a variety of reasons. Betelgeuse is a pulsating star. Thus, its width changes over the long haul. The optical radiations change in assortment and cripple with distance from the center due to limb clouding. Consequently, there is no specific edge to the star. The circumstellar envelope, which is made of material jump-started out from the star and creates and absorbs light, makes it testing to portray Betelgeuse's photosphere. The star's clear size changes depending on the recurrence utilized, making it hard to check one discernment out to another within the electromagnetic range. Assessments ought to be conceivable at various frequencies, and the exposed breadths can move by up to 32 to 35 percent. Photos taken by the Ground-Based Change Colossal Telescope Interferometer, VTI, in July 2009 and conveyed by the European Southern Observatory showed an enormous gas peak that showed up at 30 Australian dollars from the star into the enveloping air. The size of this mass release, which was one of various occurring in the atmosphere of Betelgeuse, compared to the distance between the Sun and Neptune. Stargazers have seen as something like six shells, including Betelgeuse. By tending to the mystery of mass hardship during the last periods of a star's life, it would be feasible to choose the legitimization for these eminent Goliaths' terrible defeat, alongside the stars with issues. Concerns have been raised concerning complex components of Betelgeuse's extended environment. Red Super Goliaths play a critical role in the recycling of issue that makes up universes. Nonetheless, it is yet cloudy the way in which mass is lost thanks to types of progress in interferometric methodologies. Space specialists may be close to handling this issue. Space specialists utilized Hubble and other observatories to track down that the star excused a great deal of its observable surface in 2019 and made a colossal surface mass send off, SME. This has until as of late never been found in a star's lead. Our sun reliably dispatches pieces of its thin outside environment, the crown, in an eccentricity known as coronal mass release, CME. 
those events are significantly more feeble than what was seen on Betelgeuse. The Betelgeuse surface mass release, SME, shot out 400 billion times s more mass than a run of the mill coronal mass release, CME, which gets a handle on. By mid-February 2020, Betelgeuse had lost around triple how much brightness from significance 0.5 to measure 1.7, resulting in beginning to decline distinctly in October 2019. By February 17, 2020, Betelgeuse's brightness had been consistent for close to 10 days, and the star had started to illuminate. 